you, blah, blah, blah. Royal Rainbow. What just happened? He beamed, I, what? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are hopping into a bizarre, bizarre classic produced by Namco known as Katamari Damacy. That is Japanese for clump soul, obviously. Um, this is basically the story of a cosmic prince on a mission to rebuild the stars and to do so he is going to basically roll a snowball out of everything so it's a snowball that's not made out of snow so could we really call it a snowball um basically we're gonna roll as you can clearly tell from this opening montage here which is providing so much clear backstory as to the purpose of this game oh my god what's happening um, we're gonna be rolling around a sticky ball we have some dancing pandas of course beatboxing in the land of mushrooms there is he's flying through the sky spawning mushrooms as he goes we're gonna be rolling around a giant sticky ball that will just be sticking to everything getting bigger and bigger until the magical world of rainbows is finally ours there's a fish going up on a balloon there did you guys see that this is one of the weirdest games. I've said this before, but Japanese games have a tendency to be a little weirder um, and, and sort of more bizarre than North American games. And it's not like in Japan people would look at this and this would be like a totally normal game. Like, be like oh yes, this makes total sense. People would look at this and be like, this is totally crazy too. But I think in Japan there's a little more like whimsy in terms of like, we like things that are just crazy and don't make a lot of sense. So it's sort of like their, their, their humor, I think. Um, and so that's why a game like this sort of came out of that. Okay, we're not going to watch the intro yet again. So I'm talking too much on the title screen here. Let's go ahead and get started here. Ah, hello, Prince. This is the king. Long time no see. We thought today you would, would be a good day for rolling. Ah, seems as good a day as any, I guess. The Katamari, the prince. Where the first rolls, the second follows. Ancient advice. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, for the purpose alone, blah, 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 blah. Um, there's a lot of backstory here. Basically, uh, I think we're a prince. The king blew up the world or something, and we have to bring it all back together by by rolling, rolling a giant ball around and sticking things to it. Um, oh, <laughs> I think I might have skipped some key directions there. Ah, eh, we'll figure this out. Okay. So, uh, roll, hold on, roll forward, oh, there we go. Oh, it's sort of like, okay, yes, this is kind of like a, the, the same way that Battlezone controlled, where you had two, two, um, like, joysticks, and if you press one forward and one back, you would, like, rotate in a certain direction. Like, imagine you have tank treads, if one tread's going forward and the other's going back, then you'll just turn, but if they're both going forward, then you'll roll, and you can do, like, sideways rolls, and, uh, okay, so we got all this. We we have learned well, my father. Next. My very princely, indeed. Such skill and such class. Yes, I roll with the best of them. Now, this is a game that, as I said, it embraces its silliness. This is not obviously meant as, like, a, a, a serious game. It is supposed to be very silly. It's a game that probably, like, many people would dismiss, um, including myself, just from the outset of looking at it. You look at it and be like, ah, it looks like a silly kid's game. But apparently this is considered, like, one of the big sleeper hits. It has spawned a number of sequels. Oh, there we go. We can charge our roll. Like this. Ah, there we go. Okay. Quick turn. Okay. Look is L1. You can look around and jump. Okay, and jump is R1. All right, we're, we're learning these things. I like the charge roll, that's actually pretty fun. On to the next one. Um, yeah, and I guess a, a lesson there is don't judge a book by its cover. This is a game that focused on simplicity and enjoyment, and the developers specifically cited games like Pac-Man as being like, it's all about having some very fun and very simple gameplay I know the developers for this game actually ignored requests from Namco to make the game more complicated. All we're going to be doing, people have called this game a snowball simulator, where you literally just roll a ball around and it gets bigger and bigger as you roll it around. And there's like a simple enjoyment in that, I think. 
Um, oh, the prince has been working out. Look, he's got, he's cut, man. Look at those, look at those sick abs. Also, uh, they somebody had to paint his junk. <laughs> somebody, some artist there had to paint the prince junk. Um, it, but it's like very elaborate. It's very tastefully done, I'll say. But anyway, uh, simplicity, enjoyment, and silliness. That's sort of the, the motto of, uh, of Katamari Damacy here, or Clump Soul, um, as, it, as it literally translates to. And yeah, it's considered a sleeper. It had tons of sequels. Um, it's even been included in like museums and art tours and stuff. So like, you know, don't don't be don't be put off by the initial silliness. Let's let's just go into this with open minds, guys, because we're very open-minded people. And uh, oh, the prince he has a lot to say to us. Okay, he he's going he's kind of going on there. You know, like when your parents are talking to you and you're kind of just zoning out and you're like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That's exactly what we were doing to the prince there. We we were literally in our own head. We were having a conversation with each other, is what we were doing. Um, so, yes, he's he's still talking to us. Yes, we get it, Dad. Let us let us go. Good luck. All right, so we skipped all all the uh, all the instructions there, but that's okay. Oh, look out! There's a snail attacking us. Interesting. Okay, so we we're starting off on a very oh look at that we got a pencil and it, like makes rolling the ball kind of awkward. That's cool. We should put this in the diary. So we're looking for a push pin, a dice. Oh, it's just showing us what we're picking up. Interesting. So the ball's starting off very small. We have to make this ball really big so that eventually we can be getting like buildings. And what I want is cows. If we can get to cows and pandas, then I will be a happy panda. So are we, are we trapped? What's going on here? No, we're trapped. No, my ball. Oh, there we go. We got out. Oh, that was that was rough, guys. That awkward p moment when you realize you've rolled a ball into more than it can handle. We got we got to make this ball huge. It seems it's it's not getting very big. I want it to get bigger faster. Okay, we got a pencil again. That's good. Um, this this just looks like a big ball of garbage. Button. We got the butterfly. <laughs> We're just getting everything. Come here, other butterfly. Interesting. I wonder. Oh no! Did we go off the cliff? Did we die? Oh no, we. I, is that a good thing? We rolled. We rolled off the table. Man, imagine you came home from work one day and there was like a ball of random garbage rolling around your house, absorbing everything it touched. First of all, I wouldn't be that upset because the ball is sort of like garbage is self-cleaning. It's like oh. Something something has become self-aware, but kind of to my advantage because it looks like the garbage is cleaning itself up Which would actually be awesome. Maybe this should be a thing instead of a Roomba Let's just develop little AI robots in within all things so that when things become garbage They can just roll themselves away um, But I would also be terrified at the same time. I'd be like, oh, this is useful and also terrifying is There's something let's go under here while we're still small enough to oh my god. There's a person there's a person under here. Oh man, I think we were on his bed. Now let's get his cookies. He's sleeping. Oh no, 10, year, 10 yen coins. We're stealing his money. Yo, this just went from like a garbage operation to like straight up theft. Like he's gonna wake up and be like, hey, all my money's gone. <laughs> you can be like, hey, somebody cleaned up my house and took all my money. What the hell? Okay, let's turn around here. Let's get the hell out of here. We got most of his money. His, his 10 yen coins. How much is 10 yen anyway? It's like a penny, I think. They're really not worth anything. Maybe they're like his priceless antique coins. Well, they're ours now, buddy. Um, like, who thought of this game, honestly? How, how did this come to be? I, I would love to know the creative process. I think that the development of this game, it actually came from um, like a student project. Which is kind of weird. So there's, in Japan, there's a school called the Namco Digital Hollywood Game Lab, which is a sponsored lab. Um, oh, did we get big enough? How goes it, Prince? How is Earth? Um, oh, you made a 10 centimeter Katamari. Oh, how fabulous. Katamari is space for just ball of garbage. We've forgotten all about that. Uh, clearly everything, everyone on Earth is very nice, so they'll be very helpful, they'll let you blah blah blah. Royal Rainbow. What just happened? He beamed, I, what? 
<laughs> well, let's just not question it too much. Anyway, the uh, the Namco Digital Hollywood Game Lab is like a sponsored game development school. Um, it is not necessarily, uh, you cannot roll up our objects larger than your Katamari. We'll break things off. Okay. Pro tip. Pro tip. But uh, yeah, so I guess some students had worked on a prototype for this game for what would ultimately become um, Katamari Damacy here. And it's kind of cool actually to think of that. Like, I don't, nothing I made in school ever, like, actually ended up being useful for anything. Um, like, you know, when I was. I mean, in like metal shop, like what did what did you make in metal shop when you were in school? Like just little clumps of uh, little clumps of metal that you welded together. Actually, metal school was totally awesome. Um, Ten centimeter, zero millimeters, huh? Uh, it was the first goal, but it's not very exciting, is it? Is he flying through the sky? Look how long his arm is. That's freakish, man. Um, okay, this is this is a very surreal, interesting adventure, I must say. Man, what did you make in metal school? Just a little, or like, uh, what else did shop? Shop had wood as well. So you also did stuff with wood. I just like drilling holes in wood and like hammering pieces of wood together. Uh, it's really, it's really a skill that they taught us. I've literally rarely ever used it my whole life. I've probably hammered a couple things together my whole life. Although hammering is really satisfying. You could totally make a game. If you can make a game about rolling snowballs, you can make a game about hammering. Oh my god. How, how do I go on to the next sound, view constellations, presence? Interesting. Uh, how do... <laughs> okay, here's a question, though. How do you actually start the, the game? Data collection. Man, this is a tiny planet. This is like uh, the planet they ran away to in Rick and Morty at the end of uh, season two. Um, home planet... Do we go this way? Oh, here we go. Now we are on Earth, baby. Make one star. Oh, here we go. Interesting. So we can float around to do... So we are a traveling spaceman who goes to different planets, mainly Earth. And Earth has no continents there. It's just a giant blue ball. So I guess, I guess this is after global warming. The, uh, con the oceans have enveloped all the continents. But now, have you ever been to the Philippines? All right, so we're going to the Philippines, I presume, to go ahead and collect all their garbage. So I want I I really would wish they had like animated that scene where the Japanese man woke up from his slumber, and he found all his garbage and all his money was gone. Um, that's kind of that's that's like a that's like a win lose. It's like well I I, I kind of came out ahead on this, but not a hundred percent. Okay, let's start with the small things. Let's start with tax. We're we're gonna go ahead. Oh, get out of here! There was a rat attacked me with a ball. What the hell? Okay, so what I want to do, rotate around here, I want to get tax, I want to be like a very violent, I want to have like nothing but spikes. If that rat touches me, it's going to take more damage than, than I do, trust me. Okay, I really suck at rolling this ball, okay, hold on, think back, remember your training, Jay, how do I rotate, here we go, there we go, nope, nope, and then, no, get away from me, rat, no, rat, you jerk, okay. Man, it is, it, is hard, it is shockingly hard to control your direction. I think I just need to, like, get get uh, get used to this. Oh, man. Okay, we're just gonna, like, uh, we're just gonna roll in random directions and the things we get. Oh, look, thumbtacks now, too? Dear God, this, this would not be a ball that I want to roll because I would feel very much like... <laughs> oh, God, look at it. It's nothing but spikes. This thing is so dangerous. It's so dangerous. I'm loving the like random like uh, Japanese like party mix music going on in the background right now. This game is so Japanese, it's awesome. Oh, we got some coins. Why not? Just stuck to the edge, it, very awkwardly. Oh, there we go. So we're nothing but needles and coins. And now we got little balls too. I want to get big enough that I can go ahead and I want to absorb those rats. Eventually, we get cows and stuff. So like, I'm looking forward to that day. We're still. You gotta, you gotta work your way up to cows in this world, guys. You can't start at cows. You have to start with, like, pennies and matches and thumbtacks. But mark my words. The day that we get to cows, those rats are in a lot of trouble. Because we're coming back for the... Once we have a cow stuck to our, our Katamari ball, we're coming back for the rats. 
Then they're gonna see what's up. Okay, we're up to six centimeters. Is that good? Does this please you, father? Is this what you wanted for your son? Rolling a ball of dirt and garbage around? I basically, I'm like a failed prince because I'm, I'm nothing more than a glorified housekeeper. It's like my father is the prince of all existence. And I, I'm, I, I spend my days rolling balls of garbage. I'm, I'm a, a intergalactic garbage man. What I'm doing? But I listen to some sweet Japanese hip hop while I do it. Oh yeah, now it's candy. We went from spikes to candy. Our ball got a whole lot sweeter all of a sudden. Five yen coin. Wonder do we cash these balls in at some point? Also, what is happening here? This guy stacked erasers and made like rotating gears of cassette tapes. I wonder if there I wonder if someone who's watching this has never used a cassette tape. I grew up with cassette tapes. They were a thing when I when I was a kid. But I wonder if any of my viewers here are looking at like a cassette tape and being like, hmm, like I've seen that seen tail of that. Also, what the there's magnets stuck to this guy's um this guy's like uh the what do you call it? Boombox. <laughs> the word escaped me for a while there. So that, that boombox thing over there is the thing that used cassette tapes. Maybe I can rotate around and we can see it again. I have compasses and magnets. Why does this guy have so many compasses? I wonder. So this is the, the boom box. You'd walk around holding this over your shoulder and you'd be totally cool. Um, sort of. You nails. Let's get some screws. Man, this is this is a weird ball, man. We've gone in weird directions. We haven't had a consistent thing. Whoa, you son of a beach. You stole my stuff, rat. Oh my god, now I gotta go back. There's gum, gum, candy, nails, tacks. I've not really gone in a consistent direction here. Okay, I wanna go in this room here. I feel like good things await us here. Batteries, loose batteries. Oh, there's like uh, mouse traps there too. Watch out for that. Oh, there's nothing in this room. This was a trick. Well, we got one matchbox. We're stealing this rat's matchbox. Getting the hell out of here. Alright, there seems to be some good stuff under here. Erasers. We need loose erasers or candy. Or gum, more gum. Oh, you jerk! Another rat got me. Here we go. Get out of my way, ratty! Oh, you! You son of a... You. Oh my god. And he's happy about it. He's like dancing around. Okay, we gotta flee. We're, we're being attacked by rats. Uh, a space god... Prince son is being attacked by a rat and losing. Ten centimeters! It just keeps getting bigger. That's what she said, right guys? Um, hey -o. Ten centimeters and one millimeter. Oh, do we keep do we keep going? Okay. How big how big do you want this thing? You tell me. You have one minute left. Oh, I just stole his memory cards. It looks like a Nintendo controller, actually. Oh look, it's a Famicom! Oh, look at this! It's it's totally a Famicom. Look, it's sort of got, an, it's an NES style, like, what's, what's, what's that say, game system? That's totally awesome, I want one of those. I wish that was real, actually. Oh, there's snails, can we absorb the snails? No, but we can knock them out of the way. Now we're the bullies. Oh, we just took the tapes! What the heck? Oh, we're getting huge, man. I didn't know you could actually absorb the tapes. Oh man, we're up to we're up to 11 centimeters. I think we just might have either killed or absorbed a snail, and we just took all of those things. Oh my god, man, what a, what a random idea for a game. 12 centimeters. We're huge. We're we're giant. Let's get all his food. Get the sushi. 13 centimeters. Is that big enough for you, Eek? What is that? Our eyesight. Wait, is the best in existence, but where your Katamari is, we cannot tell. Is this perhaps because it is so small, so minuscule? Stop talking about the size, man. It's not the size of the Katamari. It's how you use it. Current trend, uh, of course, but we do not acknowledge. Goodbye. Wait, wait, was that not big enough? Oh shoot, was I supposed to get bigger? I, I thought... 10 was big enough. 10 centimeters. Make a star two. Nice name for a level. A little bit of broken English in there, but that's okay. Um, okay. 
Philippines. I should pay attention to what he actually says here. Um, oh yes, royal present for the hardworking prince. Uh, three down to earth, just fell to earth. Just tell me the size. Cut to like one sentence that says the size. Oh, I'm in a basket. Today you'll be rolling inside the house. 20 centimeters. Oh, geez, I was way off. I thought 10. Okay, I, I didn't understand the instructions. Oh my god, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. There we go. And is it randomly generated every time, I wonder, or no? Like, you could develop a, like a rolling strategy if you wanted, I guess. Okay, so the strategy, I think, should be to try and get those tapes and stuff pretty fast. Because they really help you knock the size up. And, like, so I guess, okay, here's, if you actually want to play this game, you should try and get, like, the biggest items that you can as quickly as you can. Ah, oh, Jesus. And not be hit by the rats. So, like, these coins are pretty convenient. And if I could actually roll myself. So we want coins. We want, eventually want those frogs, of course. Of course, we want coins. We want, like, the whiteout. Oh, coins. Oh, get away from me. Oh, nice try. Oh, you son of a... I thought, how many rats are... Okay, there's a bunch of rats just walking around pushing oranges. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I can't get that coin. We're up to five centimeters. Doing pretty good. Let's get a magnet if we can. Nope, too small for the magnet. That's okay. What do we got going on over here? Nothing. Why did I come up here? It was a mistake. I can get these things. Oh, yeah. Look at them. Look at them all. They're just waiting to be sucked up and to join my ball. Oh, yeah. This is actually... This is a smart move coming up here. All right. Oh, you... Sna Why did the snail attack me? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, we're up to seven centimeters. And we got, like, five minutes to spare. Good. Okay. So now, now that I know we have a goal, it's not that hard to actually... Uh, to actually try and take it on here. We're getting too big for the snail. Let's see if we can get a tape yet. No, we're too small still. Oh man, as soon as... Oh, we have to be 10 centimeters or bigger to go in that room. That's the 10 centimeter only room. That's for your big boys. Alright, fine. Get away from your rats. I can get a compass. Okay, we're already almost up to 10 centimeters. And once we get that, I feel like we're on easy street. There's our uh, NES system, which is totally awesome. Alright. Look at this random ball guard. Get away from me, rats, and wh whatever thing you're up to. I, I want no part of it. You guys are just annoying. Bunch of rats pushing around. Oh, there we go. We can start getting these things. Yeah. So the things that used to be our obstacles are now just like part of our ball. Oh, get, get away from me, ratty. Uh, here we go. Ten centimeters. It just keeps getting bigger. Should you really be complimenting your own son on size? I'm just going to say that. I'll leave it at that. Yes! We're, we're big enough to take on batteries. And all these erasers. And these things. Oh, we just keep getting bigger and more angry. We're getting more angry the bigger we get. We have a magnet. A very angry magnet is on top of us now. Oh, it's time for the 10 centimeter room. Yeah, this is where your big boys hang out. Ooh. It's not a room, it's outside. It's like a little garden. It's a 10 centimeter garden. Must need an invite to come to this. I'm afraid of anything that moves because I'm afraid it will actually hurt me, but maybe I'll be big enough to actually like take this stuff. Man, think of how much rendering effort must be going in just to drawing this ball. It's like there, there's like 500 objects in like tangled up in this ball right now. Like how much complicated physics calculations need to occur just for this little ball. How did they make this game, I wonder? It's pretty interesting actually when you think about it. Because like the ball does kind of roll, depend like its shape, you know, if, if you absorb kind of like awkward things, it kind of starts to like uh, rotate in weird ways. Like if I had a pencil sticking out the side, it would it would have like a really weird rotation to it. Give me all the golf balls. 
Hey, there's cherries. All sorts of cool stuff. I got a number counter. I don't know what that... This guy's house is so messy. Let's absorb all the balls. Get the forks. Get some forks in here. I, I'm still to this... I'm still waiting for the cow, man. He has two number counters. I'm taking that one, too. I, I'm not big enough for a dandelion yet. That's a shame. There's a gun. Big enough for that? No. Um, come on. We're so big. We're getting so close. 17. Oh, that thing's gonna attack me, I know it. Oh no, I only have like 54 seconds left. No! Hurry! Get the stuff. Oh, there's stuff over here that I didn't see. Oh, look at all these balls. Oh my god, these are all gonna be mine. Yes! No! Ugh. Come on! <laughs> 30 seconds left! Oh, I did it! Oh, thank god! I guess I could absorb that Santa. The Santa sock. Look at that! Not bad at all! A big katamari indeed. What is it, a katamari? Is that an actual term or is that made up? Is it like a Koopa? Because Koopa was not really a word before Super Mario became a thing and kind of made it a word. So, you know, this, I think this game kind of proves you can make a game about anything. Like, this is literally a game about kind of rolling a snowball, kind of being a garbage thief. Um, oh, I guess we can get to keep going. Can we, can we make it bigger? I have 20 seconds left to get as big as I can. Well, I've been in this situation before, right? Am I right, guys? Am I right, guys? 20 seconds to get as big as you can. Um, look how awkward this ball has become. It's rolling in very unnatural ways. We're up to 25 centimeters. That's pretty good, I'd say. It's a pretty good sized ball. So yeah, you can make a game about anything, really. It kind of makes me wonder, like, what could you make a game out of? Um, like, another example of this is, have you guys ever played the game Papers, Please? It's literally a game about being a border customs agent in like a 1985 like Soviet bloc country like it's it's uh it's actually like a, a a hit game like papers please is very it sounds so boring literally you just check people's passports and you either accept or reject them into the country it sounds so boring but it's actually a fun game and it is it raises this kind of interesting well two things actually one is what is what do you guys think is the weirdest concept or the most boring concept for a game on paper that you could actually make fun like, I'm sure when the guy who made Papers, Please, when he basically pitched it to his friends and stuff, because I'm pretty sure he was a developer of Uncharted and he left to form his own company to make Papers, Please. So he did it all by himself. So he didn't really have to pitch it to anyone. But I'm sure when he told people, I'm making a game about being a customs agent, people were like, that's the most boring thing ever. That just sounds boring. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Man, these cutscenes are awesome. I'm just going to let this play out and talk over it. Um, the stars have suddenly vanished from the sky. Oh my god. Um, but anyway, so yeah, making a game about being custom agent sounds boring on paper, but it's actually a fun game. It was done well. So, first of all, what is the most uh, boring concept for a game that you can think of that is that, that you could actually, you think, make fun? Uh, like, you could, if you... What? Make cancer? Dear god. We made a star, and now we're making cancer. We've gone straight towards, like, killing children. I don't know why I think it's childhood cancer. Okay, let's do this. We'll, we'll make a star three, and then we'll try to make a cancer and see what it's about. Um, and then we'll wrap this video up, I think. Because we're getting a pretty good sense of what this game is like. I, I honestly, I love the humor in this game. This is hilariously awesome. I would play this game just to see the cutscenes. This is this is the, we the weirdest Japanese game, or one of the weirder ones I've ever played, but it's weird in the way I want it to be. I want my Japanese games to be weird as hell and to just be awesome because of that. Yeah, this this I understand why people really like this game. This is awesome. Um, and it's also a kind of game that everyone could play, you know, like you don't need to be a hardcore gamer to be able to play this. It's interesting, even it's very simple controls and anyone can pick it up from like a kid to like, you know, a grandparent. Uh, and it's just kind of like silly and fun. And yeah, you don't have to have super serious games all the time. I don't think I think that's a that's a false belief that every game has to be super serious. That you have to be a hardcore gamer to enjoy a game. And that's not true. That's not true. But anyway, okay, so what's the weirdest concept for a game that you could think of that would actually be fun? First of all, 
Hey, we start off being pretty big. Oh, we're getting like Lego pieces and stuff. Cool. Um, and second of all, how come it's the case that some things, you know, in real life would really be annoying to do, but in games they're really fun? So like, for instance, being a customs agent in a video game is fun. As a job in real life, it's not so fun. <laughs> Right. Or maybe you're a customs agent, you don't mind it. That's fine. That's fine if that's true. Uh, but you know, like, you could take anyone's job, probably, and turn it into a video game, and it would be kind of fun. Like, you could turn, like, I don't know, like being an office worker, or, you know, being a handyman, or, um, I mean, people don't necessarily hate those jobs. I mean, being an office worker, people don't necessarily love. I'm trying to think, like, what are jobs people really don't like? I don't know. Being, being a, a custodian or something, you know? Uh, maybe like if you're a janitor, you know, maybe that's not a, the kind of job that people like. Um, who knows? But basically, if you turn that into a video game, like paper, like the Papers, Please equivalent of like being a janitor, it could actually be like a really fun game. So it's like, how come things that we don't want to do in real life, or like cleaning your room, doing chores, you could make a video game about having being a kid and having having to clean your room and have a, a clean room. And that could actually be, oh, damn it, stupid mouse. Uh, that could actually be kind of fun. So somebody out there could make a game about a child having to clean their room. And I bet you children, if you made it in, in the right way, you made it like this or like papers, please, not papers, please. That's kind of a kind of a boring uh, for a kid probably, but something like this, kids would actually want to play it. But if you ask the kid if they actually want to clean their room, uh-oh, we got a bit of a limp going on on our ball here because we absorbed something that was too tall for us. But if you ask, ask the kid if they actually want to clean their room, they of course would not want to. So it's like, why, why can you make games that are fun that do things that you would never actually want to do in real life? It's kind of interesting, I don't know. I never really figured that one out. I don't know... Maybe, maybe there's a couple of things. Maybe it's sort of like the obligation of real life make thing, makes things less fun. Like in real life, you can never really choose to not go into work. I mean, you can, but you're totally going to get fired, right? Um, whereas, you know, with Papers, Please, I can play it for 30 minutes, and then if I get bored, I can just stop. Um, but you can't do that at work. You can't be like, well, I'm bored. I'm going home for the day. That uh, definitely is just not going to cut it. <laughs> I've worked a job or two in my day, and trust me, they don't like it when you just get bored and leave. Um, you don't end up working that job for very long. Um, how big do we have to make this ball, by the way? Still not big enough for that can of Coke, which I really, really want. Can I get this thing, or is it going to hurt me? No, I'm not big enough for it. I'll be back for you guys, I guess. I'm guessing 40 centimeters. Man, we're not big enough for the stupid teddy bear? Jesus. Or the sand castle? Sand castle gonna get in our way? The big obstacle for a giant ball of garbage? Dog bowl? Oh, there's a cat! Oh, yes! The, mi the mice are getting theirs. Yes, there we go. We are up, up the stairs. Oh, we're getting a wrench. Yeah. I like that the cat is, is eating the mice. I approve. Go, 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 Oh, yeah, all the big, all the good stuff's up here, man. This is where the, there's an ice tray. Oh, we're not big enough for that, either. Where are we? <laughs> anyway, we're, like, wandering around this guy. Now we're stealing plates. We're, we're progressively getting, uh, getting, oh, we're stealing his underpants. His underpants are just, like, put out in the garden. Oh, yeah. I gotta dry my sundries. Just put them out, just put them out in the uh, garden, dear. Throw my undies out there. I like I like them sun cooled, sun cooled underpants. That's because that's the thing. And we put it out with the spatulas, the slotted spatulas. Oh, we got a dandelion. We are big enough. We can start weeding this guy's garden for him. I feel like a little obligated to do so because we have basically just sort of thefted up a bunch of other stuff. We should we should help him out a little bit. Hey, the dog. I guess he doesn't like that we're stealing his dog bowl and we're gonna steal his favorite wrench. Now we're gonna get out of here. See ya, Poochie. Sorry, buddy. I am I am actually really sorry that I stole your, your stuff. Oh, we need to be 50, 50 centimeters. That's a tall order. Small toy capsules, dung beetles. Ooh, we got some poop attached on here. What's going on over here? Are we big enough to get the monkey? No. Can we get the radio though? Yeah, yeah. Man, we're, we are getting pretty big, I will say. Big enough to get these things. Man, eventually in this game, 
He gets so big you're picking up cows and eventually buildings, I think, which is pretty hilarious. So yeah, this game is strangely satisfying too. Like, just walking around, or not even walking, I'm rolling around, clumping stuff up. And for some reason, this is like really appealing. Uh, we're up to 39 centimeters. Are we gonna get to 50, I wonder? Oh no, my strawberries and my yellow flowers. This is like, I, I wonder, is this a pack, rat's, a pack rat's dream or nightmare? Like, have you guys seen that show Hoarders where people like literally live in squalor because like they can't throw anything away? Imagine if they played this game. Would this, would this stress them out? Or would this like please them immensely? I wonder. Oh, here we go. The paint cans are what's gonna do it. This is gonna knock us over the edge. Oh, we just like took a crab. There was a crab in a paint can and we just absorbed him into the ball. I'm like the Borg. I'm like a garbage equivalent of the Borg. I'm like, resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. Your species will evolve to service us. And so the crab did. You became part of the, the greater, the greater good, the greater garbage ball of life. 47 centimeters. Can I get these crabs? Yep, I can. <laughs> I'm going full crab here. We are crab people now. Crab people, crab people, crab people. Oh, there's good stuff up here. I know it. Yes, 50. Yes. I, objective complete. What a nice katamari. Kind of beauty. We're crab people now, Dad. Crab people. Oh, we're getting the pot, too. Aw, uh, the pots, we're not big enough for the pot. Oh, but we're big enough for the the containers. Oh man, we're getting huge. We're getting huge, we're gonna get this bucket too. Oh, look at us now, Dad. Look at us now, we're gonna absorb the birds. Absorb the birds. Borg it up. No, uh, we could not absorb the birds. It's disappointing. Can I get all this stuff? I want slippers, yes. Oh no, I only have one slipper. I'm getting caught here. Oh no, pieces are falling off. Get the milk. Milk. That cat isn't gonna have get the pan. Oh, come on. How are we not big enough for this pan yet? Ridiculous. Okay, I'm kind of running out of stuff here. His lawn's looking pretty slim. We got a clock. That's good. It's always good to have a clock. Oh, wait. Let's try and get this monkey. Yes, we got the monkey. Oh, there's stuff up here. I didn't even know about this area. Now we're like into the street. Man, if you saw a, a sentient ball of garbage rolling down the street, absorbing everything that it touched, that would be terrifying. Oh, there's a remote control car. That's mine now, buddy. Come here. Come here. Join the garbage. Resistance is futile. Oh, no. 59. Come on. We can get it. Oh, I wanted to get the 60. We're so close. So close. There's like a weird competitive spirit that takes over when you play this game. So interesting. Um, all right, let's 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 see what, what making a cancer is all about. And then beyond that, I feel like we've had a pretty good time here with uh, Katamari Daimacy here. I mean, what do you guys think? Okay, so as we said, this is a very, very weird Japanese game. Um, but it embraces the weirdness. Um, and it, I think it is awesome because of it. Um, the gameplay is simple. I will say that rolling around the ball I'm not very good at it yet. I'm kind of like bouncing around uh, all over the place. When I want to go forward, my instinct is to press forward on the left thumbstick and not the right, and that actually makes me turn. It makes me rotate. So you have to press forward on both thumbsticks to go forward like you're driving a tank again. And this is actually a little weird. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I'm just saying I'm not super used to the control scheme and it's making it a little hard for me. I think with more gameplay, I would get very good at it. So it's just something that you have to practice, I think. Um, I love these cutscenes, by the way, these little block people, Japanese people. I feel like it's a cartoon from the 50s. Like, uh, like uh, I don't know, Gumby or Davy or, Davy or whatever. Um, oh man, do you guys remember Gumby? Gumby was freaking awesome. I used to have Gumby toys when I was a kid. If you don't know what Gumby is, if you're too young, you might have to Google it. But Gumby was a, a man made out of Play-Doh. And he lived in a world like this. He was really tiny, so like, he'd have thumbtacks, and he'd sit on erasers and stuff, and he had a, he had a horse named Pokey. I had a Gumby when I was a kid. I had a toy Gumby. Alright guys, let's do this. We've, we've made garbage. Let's go ahead and make some deaths, I guess. Make cancer. 
What could this possibly mean? I just want to know. I don't want to pass this level, I just want to know. What is it? Something's not quite there. Oh yes, we get it. Just doesn't look delicious. This sky does not seem yummy at all. Uh, everyone is still hungry, yes. Can you see that, silly? Speaking of delicious, we say crab, most certainly crab. Oh, maybe like an astrological cancer. Got it. Got it. Okay, so now we, we got to get crabs. Oh, man, there's so many jokes we could make here. Uh, but we're on a mission to get crabs, guys. Hopefully we're big enough to get crabs. Here we go. Uh, go, 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 go. Go, 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 charge. Get all the crabs. Oh, we're saving crab. Oh, we got a spider. Does that count against us? Where did that? There was a crab over here. Where'd he go? Come here, crabby. No, we're not big enough for that guy. Five minutes to get all the crabs. You can get so many jokes we could make. We're not going to go there, guys. We're going to keep it highbrow high brow humor on uh, on the Gaming J Show. Anyway, uh, Katamari Descent here. I'm going to wrap this up as, as we go through this little uh, crab obstacle course here. But uh, this is a game in the book, 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And I was skeptical. I will fully admit, I judged this book by its cover. I looked at this game and I said, it's a we weird, weird, weird Japanese game about rolling around, uh, sort of building a snowball of trash. And it's, for some reason, had all this critical acclaim. It was like in museums and stuff. And I was like, well, I guess I gotta play as part of my series. I got sponges on me now too. Oh, what the heck? Um, but I will say, color me impressed. I think this is actually a pretty fun game. Obviously this, you know, if, if you're looking for like a hardcore gaming experience, you know, Katamari Descent here is really not sort of, it, it doesn't make any pretenses of being that. What you're gonna find here is a very silly, very um, easy to uh, easy to pick up and play game. There's a very low learning curve, but it's it's pretty fun. It, it totally embraces, as I say, the Japanese zaniness, and I think it makes it just a really fun experience. So, if you're looking for something a little funky, a little fun, um, Katamari Katamari Damacy here totally it strikes me as a game that you you want to play um, before you die, if that is your thing. Um, but you know, hey, if, if you know, you you're want more serious gaming experiences? There's nothing wrong with that, too. But anyway, those are my those are my opinions. What do you guys think? Have you guys played Katamari Damacy before? Um, has this video, if not, inspired you to go ahead and check it out? Um, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always excited to hear what you guys have to say. And other than that, I feel like we're we're really on course here um, to to get this this ball that our our father wants us to. So let's let's try and wrap this up. We, we've, we've kind of gone off target here. I know he wanted it to be a crab-based bar, but I've kind of got like dish soap and sponges. I've kind of branched out into other directions that he might not have been anticipating. But I feel like he's still generally going to be pleased with this. Let's take this guy's dinner too. Take all the food that we can. I mean, this guy, he shouldn't be too mad that we took his food because he literally has a crab infestation. Like, he's got a real crab problem here is what he's got. And I'm I'm really helping. Really helping. The crabs run away from you, which is pretty funny. Like, look at this one in a... He was in, like, a sombrero hat. Oh, man. That, that would suck if, like, a ball of garbage literally came and just sucked you up. Because, like, the crabs are scared of me. They're running. I'm starting to feel bad for, like, uh... For taking them here, actually. Like, we're taking this guy against his will. Hey, wait. How big we need to make this thing constantly keeps going up. Oh yeah! Oh now, now we've definitely surpassed. I think. Have we or not? I, I can't tell. I can't tell if we're making progress or not. Let's take all his tomatoes. Yeah, we we re we're really off the mark in terms of uh, what we're supposed to be actually absorbing here. Come here, crab. Come here, crab. Maybe I'm only supposed to get crabs, and as I get other things, it's actually moving the target higher. Maybe that's what's happening. That could possibly be it. I got tissues and a crab. So maybe this is... Oh, I think that might be what's going on. Uh, this is sort of like a uh, like an expertise level, maybe, where you're only supposed to get the crab and not the other things. And I'm just messing up by just getting everything. Because I can't help myself. I'm a bit of a hoarder. When I see random trash, I gotta go for it, no matter what it is. Yeah, look, my the target of what I have to get keeps getting bigger and bigger because I keep screwing up. 
That's okay. Um, anyway, I feel like we've had a fun time with this game here today. Um, I think it's one that you uh, should play before you die uh, if, if you're interested in it. So, yeah. Um, guys, until next time, we've had a lot of fun here. If you have had fun with me, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will be back in a few days. So until then, take care of yourselves. And otherwise, keep it zany. And peace. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. Cancer came scuttling back. So yeah.